Well, you don't want to learn, turn into the parking lot for Lighthouse Baptist Church, which is where I am right now. Right next to it is Quality Lodge. And I, I think this might be the house that the owners live in with it. All right, so you can see the other part of the hotel. And then you can see this, like, I'm not sure if it's newer construction, but like the pole, pole barn construction, which is kind of what I'm in also. So you have like the pole barns, then you have these. So it looks like all those empty uh, windows, those have people in them. Um, so you can see in, if in my window right now, because I haven't shut it. But it's a peaceful place. I'll stop to get everything out. But yeah, it's a peaceful place. It's a nice little hotel. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I guess it, it maybe isn't that new of, at least on this side, it's probably not very new construction, uh, probably from the sixties with the brick facade. Um, you've got television, your microwave and a tiny, tiny fridge. Um, he did, they don't offer breakfast or anything. They do have a pool, uh, but the pool's not up right now. But they have, they gave me some water and uh, club uh, crackers. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, and it's family run, which is cool. Um, the air feels nice. In here, it kind of smells smoky or like a sauna. But I can't find the, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I'm, I'm in no position to talk about how things smell, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm really smelly. So you've got a really small shower, um, a sanitized toilet. Yeah, it is very clean. Very clean. This is a nice place. It's old, but I can definitely deal with that. Um, this cost me $170 tonight. This was the cheapest that I've had um, here um, that I could find here at at Cedar Point or around Cedar Point. Yeah, so I just went out and came back in and it does kind of smell like an old house, but it smells like an old clean house. It smells like your grandma's house when she's just cleaned everything perfectly. <laughs> it's just an old building. Um, so that's really why it smells that way. And uh, I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. And for the price, comparatively, you know, going from like a $170 cost to um, like three or $400, which I saw a lot of, um, like the comparative cost is pretty decent. Um, so I don't really have a problem with that. <laughs> Ooh, that feels a lot better. This is actually a nice hotel, dependent upon what you want out of it. Um, if you're looking for it to be this like perfect, you know, four star place to stay, um, it's probably not gonna be what you want. But if you're just looking for a place to be able to sleep at night after you get done at Cedar Point, which is really what I usually am looking for, you're not gonna have any problems here. Good morning, everyone. I actually ended up oversleeping this morning. <laughs> I was gonna try to get there for early park entry and my alarm didn't go off um, or I turned it off or something. But um, obviously the beds are, the bed was very, very comfortable. Um, the room is nice. I don't mind anything here. <laughs> Um, the place was very quiet. When I went to bed, I never heard anything from anybody else. At least nothing to wake me up or disturb me in any way. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a nice place. Um, or it is a nice place, I guess. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to kind of take a bit more of an in-depth tour now. Um, and I'm not going to make it there for early park entry this morning. <laughs> Now one thing, I've tried to clean up the floor as much as I can, um, but there's still some water. Um, when the, the curtain was outside, 
Um, I guess I should have realized that would be an issue, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and everything in here was very, very clean. Um, very easy to use. It really wasn't an issue at all for me. Um, nice place. Kind of weird textured ceiling, but I mean, that's just a product of the time of this place, that's all. Um, not really an issue. Uh, this was a little bit cool uh, for a while. It was blowing right on me, but I did turn it up and then I put it up also. Um, so you do have some direction on this that you can do. Um, so that, that helps a little bit. I didn't use the TV at all. <laughs> I never do. I have my computer. I don't really need it. Um, and then, like I said, you do have microwave, some other things. Uh, the room is a mess right now. I have nasty clothes on the floor. <laughs> also. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nice place. Now, one thing I did find was there's a little bit of an issue with um, plugs. There's not as many plugs um, as I would usually like and of course that just comes from the age of the building itself um, so Yeah, that's something that maybe was a little bit of an issue, but it is nice that you still have like a larger uh, Plug up here one that's higher also uh, for you to use um, Oh <laughs> I didn't even realize this but it looks like these were unplugged the I didn't use them but it looks like both the refrigerator and the um so if, if you come in they probably do that to save some money um if you come in you need them um you need to plug in these also so yeah i either way though it was a nice place to stay i'm not upset with having found this room um it's a good place i'm I'm glad I stayed here and didn't spend 300 or 400 or 500 dollars instead. So uh, that's not a problem to me. <laughs> now today is the last day of summer vacation, the last weekend of summer vacation. Schools are about to go back into session, so that's why this is such a popular time for people. Um, it's <laughs> It's just part and parcel of Cedar Point. So that's something that we're gonna have to deal with definitely. Uh, now, after today though, I found really cheap rates uh, for a lot of hotels, including this one. So uh, I would definitely go check them out. 170 doesn't mean that that is the cost every time for this room. I don't know that I would normally pay that. I paid that this time because it was the cheapest rate out of all of the rates here at uh, around Cedar Point. Now the grounds area, you can definitely see that this is like an older place, um, but it looks like you have some nicer stuff up here at the top. The second, uh, the second building or second floor building or whatever you want to call it, that definitely looks pretty nice. Oh, and it turns out <laughs> I actually was in the parking lot of the church yesterday. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Now they said that there was a pool somewhere. But I don't see the pool. Now you do have these small buildings like I said last night. You have the pole barn construction, the brick construction, and then you have the second floor area over here. Um, and then Is there a pool back here? <laughs> okay, maybe they had a pool at one point. <laughs> this all looks like it's a part of the church. That's interesting. It almost looks like a church camp kind of a thing. And maybe that's what this was at one point. I don't know. All right, so maybe there's a pool back here. It's another possibility. Okay, here's the pool. But I don't even know how you'd get back there. But there is a pool back there. Okay, well that's cool. I guess laundry also. 
So that's also where the laundry facility would be. Okay, we're gonna go find that before I check out. Okay, yeah, so the sign says pool and laundry. We come back here. Now, like I said uh, yesterday, apparently the pool is closed right now. I'm not sure why, it's, uh, maybe it was just closed last night. Maybe I just misunderstood him. That is a possibility. Um, it may be open, but either way, it does look like they're treating it though with something. Um, nice pool though. Not a lot of room around the sides of it. So definitely, you know, making sure your kids aren't running, things like that is important uh, with those couple chairs over there uh, that don't give you a lot of space. And uh, the back entrance, I think just to the house because yeah coming back in once again it doesn't smell the best uh I'll, I'll give it that it's and again it's not like a it's not like a dirty smell it's like a, a the only way i can describe it is grandma's house <laughs> it is an older place i i would imagine from the 50s um and that's just gonna be what it is so but if you're looking for a nice place that's private away from a ton of people um this is I, I keep thinking the stuff is on the other side this is the place to come so and my shirt will probably not do anything other than this today <laughs> it's way too hot <laughs> now this place did get i think it was a two um a two star rating um but when it came to families, it got like a 3.9 rating. <laughs> uh, so this was, this was a, a very popular place among people who, from what I can understand, are probably trying to save some money, not unlike me. <laughs> so uh, if you're trying to save some money, this is definitely a good place to look at. Um, it does look like it'd be a fun place with the pool. I mean, I, I see a lot of good options here now it's kind of stinky that the pool's not open right now so i would call about that before you make your booking if a pool is very important to you but uh, definitely something that i think is good to keep in mind especially if you're here with your family trying to save a little bit of money but you also want a good quality location uh to to be able to stay in cool so anyway, thank you guys so much for co coming along today. Uh, please press that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and uh, it's gonna be a hot one. Let's go. All right, and this is the inside. Now for breakfast, they do have uh, some coffee, um, and they do also have some chips for you to, ha to, to have for now or for later. Um, such a nice guy. I, I love this place. <laughs> It's definitely worth coming into. Um, yeah, it's been a great day. Let's go. Bye, Quality Lodge. It's been great.